Hello, we are of Monsters and Men. And you're watching Moscam. I would say Beneath My Bed, because it's a song that we don't play often. Well, we, ha we didn't play it often, but now we've played it a lot. It wasn't on the album. It's good. Um, I would say Six Weeks. It's a song that we end with. And, you know, I sing it, not Nana, which is always nice for me. And it's just a fun song to play. Well, once I heard me and Anna were getting married. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> no, that's not true. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're gonna lie now. Oh, well, actually, I've heard uh, that me and Arnar are a couple. Yeah, well, actually, me and Brynjar, that it was our intention. We wanted people to, to think that we are a couple. We are a couple. Yes, yeah, we are. <laughs> Are we? Yes. A, a, a hollowed out uh, bell pepper. It's really good to drink red wine out of bell pepper and, no, sorry, beer out of bell pepper and red wine out of a banana. It's like a, yeah, this is something that we've been de developing since we went first to Norway. We had a friend to visit it and we, there were no cups in the dressing room. But we all always ask for cups. But you know, so we started just drinking from random fruits. And the fruit, <laughs> it kind of mixes well with the wine or the the beverage that of your choice. So it's a fun game of mixing beverages with different types of fruit to get a different kind of flavor going. So uh, yeah. you could drink like a white wine out of kiwi. Uh, if you I like would small that would portions. Be good. Well, um, sometimes, uh, though the truth may vary, this shit will carry, will sound like this shit and caviar. But that's just for, to me. I'm not sure if people are seeing that though. No. But it's always fun to see people sing along. You see the lyrics. And then, then I look at them in their face and they notice, no, I'm not singing the, wrong, the right lyric. And then they just look down. <laughs> that's always fun. In Brazil, me and Arnar got like um, clay statues uh, of our instruments. So I got an acoustic guitar, and it's handmade by the fans, and he yeah. got a drum set. That was cool. Even we were we were um, we, we were sure there uh, was drugs in it, so we we had a hard time traveling with it. We were kind of <laughs> nervous, but we did anyways. And there, I don't think there are any drugs in it. No, I didn't try to eat it or anything. We always think there's drugs in every gift. People are trying to, uh, you know, trying to make us get arrested. But one more thing, we got a, a bra, like a yeah. woman's bra on stage in uh, Our Italy. first bra on stage. First and only We, bra. the guys, were very happy. Of course, it's like a really cool thing for us, like our first bra on stage. Yeah. And then we found out it was for Nanna, this, the female. <laughs> so we were devastated. So we haven't had a bra on stage for us. So, yep. bra. <laughs> I think Rhodes piano. That's one of my favorite instruments. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good one. Uh, I would just say a piano. I really like a, I really like piano. Yeah, I think I agree. Always when I write songs, I write songs on piano. It's like the best uh, writing songs instrument. Yes, it is. It, it always sounds good. It's easy to make it sound good if you don't know a lot. It's yeah. Fun. Fun to play. Like just buttons that sound good. Yeah. Blee. But not that this sounded good, but the piano <laughs> would have sounded good. <laughs> well, that was horrible as well. Mine was worse. Red Rocks was cool. Yeah, we did Red Rocks in, uh, in Denver. That was uh, just the, the venue was great. It's cool. It's like in the nature between two huge red rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it was fun to go to Brazil because uh, the people there were really you know into it yeah They're, yeah yeah and uh, i think spain as well and uh, portugal just b because of the fans yeah they're so into it it's yeah they crazy. really enjoy it now it's hard to pick just one i think uh we, we this is our 18th month of touring we've done a lot of shows a lot of tv shows and just you know i think 
it's hard to pick something, something, some one thing. Uh, I think like, but like, if I had to, had to uh, I guess uh, Lollapalooza in Chicago was one of our, like, when we played that show, we really like, I don't know, it's hard, hard we kind of, um, uh, this is going great, Ragnar, you're doing a great <laughs> job. Keep I don't know the what question. he's going to say. <laughs> no. Yeah, so that, here you go. Thank you. I forgot the question. Well, we try to always warm up before every show. We were better at it at the beginning when we started touring. But, you know, we tried to do like some, some stuff like just uh, like something just hitting the wall, just yeah. making sounds and just <laughs> just doing something tribal. Yeah, tribal chanting is yeah. what we do a lot. So group chanting and uh, uh, basically turning everything in the room into a drum. Always, it's always good. Oh, well, Brynjan, I suppose, he likes to climb up on tall amps and do, do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, no. Uh, maybe. Uh, going up on the drum riser to visit my friend Arnar over here. Uh, because then I get to uh, look at this pretty face. Yeah, and I maybe give him one little pose, like a... Oh yeah. something to, you know, make him feel that I appreciate his visit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good one was in, in, in Manchester, when we played there for the first time. There were three big guys, maybe they were like football. Yeah, maybe they were bald as well. Yeah. And maybe they had a lot of tattoos probably. Yeah, in my totally. memory, I don't know. Definitely. Yeah. And they were singing over our most quiet song, Love, Love, Love. And they were shouting, Love, Love, Love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very manly, like a... <laughs> yeah, it was, that was cool. That was cool. Just everything. Uh, yeah, it kind of depends on who got to the, uh, the cable first to plug it into your phone. Yeah. What, what music will play on the bus. Yeah. Brynjar always puts on hip-hop. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hip-hop is great bus music. It bounces with the rhythm of the street. <laughs> it's a cool sentence, thank you. <laughs> Once we went to the movies and saw Life of Pi, and uh, we all had decided to go to the movies, and then uh, Artman decided to go have a burger. So <laughs> he went to have a burger and I went to him and said like, do you want to go to the movies? We're, it's upstairs. And he said, no, I'm enjoying this burger way too much. And that was one of the craziest moments on tour. <laughs> that was a fucking good burger. Yeah. Well, it, that is, that was the best burger on tour though, wasn't it? Uh, second best. Second best burger. The best burger was uh, when Christy Bear cooked us burgers. Yeah. At, uh, at, where, Bonnaroo in uh, America. Don't know exactly yeah. where in America. The bass player is an amazing chef. Yes, I think he's coming out with a cookbook or something. Yeah. So he had like organic burgers. Uh, their their bus was next to ours, and uh, yeah, we ate all their meat. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded horrible. <laughs> 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 uh, interview done. <laughs>